after Rick Savage with Def Leppard, and uh, I am here uh, sharing the love with my friends from EMG, and we're going to talk a little bit about the bass guitars and the bass rig that I've got, and we'll start by looking at the Jackson basses. They're a complete custom shop model. Uh, Rick Savage is the only guy that uses this particular model of bass, and we uh, have them in a variety of different graphics, but most importantly, we have the EMG 40 DC series ceramic magnet pickups and the BTC active treble and bass uh, circuit as well in each of the guitars and uh, they sound amazingly consistent very wide range smooth good impact all of the all of the nice qualities that make these things sound the way they do um, we run these basses through Galleon Kruger Fusion 550 amplifiers that we've started using this year, which is a great package for this kind of thing. Bi-amp output gives us the ability to run our horns with a 50 watt amp controlled from the front panel. And then we have 500 watts at the output for the 410 cabinets. I use four 410 neodymium cabinets, two on each side of the drums. And uh, so far it is, uh, the system that really kicks the sound out further from the cabinet than anything else I've tried. We're using TC Electronic G Major 2 multi effect processors, Avalon Class A DIs, probably the best sounding DI in the business, front end and back end, clean and effective. And uh, neat little device here Sound Blocks Pro multi wave bass distortion pedal, which is basically a completely programmable distortion pedal that has the ability to distort different parts of the bandwidth differently so you don't lose any of your fundamental when you're adding distortion on the bass, which is really important. Got a little DL4 hiding behind here that we use on Rock On, which is the sound that he, or the pedal rather, that he used on the record for that sound. Little slap echo. And uh, I have my bass pedals, and we have to be very careful when we talk about this. Um, this is a Mac Mini based sample system we use for key bass sounds, we use it for uh, synth bass sounds, we use it for some intros, uh, our song Foolin', Too Late, Rocket, there are several sounds that occur on the record that have triggers from some MIDI pedals, some uh, Roland PK-5A MIDI pedals. And uh, when we talk about this kind of stuff for years and years, this band has been accused of using vocal samples during its show. And uh, I'd like to go on record at this point and say that that is completely, blatantly untrue. When you find something like this here, we use samples for the drums, we use samples for the bass pedal. There are no vocal samples with this band. These guys sing like this every night, and they sound fantastic. So that's my little world. I sit back here and change his programs for him and make sure he has stuff to drink and all the related nonsense that goes along with it. But uh, that's about it. All right. Well, um, this is Sav's main base right now. We got it last year. It's, uh, again, a Rick Savage model custom shop job from Jackson featuring the 40 DC EMG pickups of the BTC electronic system. Uh, we use this on probably two thirds of the show. Five string, very, very nice. Very nice rock and roll bass. The next bass in line is the Sheffield Wednesday Football Club bass that I got for him. Uh, this is his favorite soccer team. And I thought, what do you get the guy that has absolutely everything in life? when you want to do something nice for him. So uh, I came up with this, and uh, rumor has it he's very, very happy with it. Again, same electronics. Everything is uh, consistent in that regard. Also 18 volts. Yes, 18, 18 volts. Um, this is probably a uh, very uh, recognizable graphic for this band. This was the second base we got from Jackson. Of course, the Union Jack flag. Again, same pickups, same electronics. And I actually removed these two pots and placed them inside the body cavity so that he can't hit the knob and change the, uh, the sound. We fine tune it and take each bass and 
tweak each control. We find the sweet spot, tape that thing up in there, place it inside the body cavity. These are on dummy pots so he can bang away all night long and never change the sound. So we use both pickups uh, all the time, hardwired that way. And last but not least, we have the St. George's Cross. And this was the main base for the last two years. This is uh, a graphic of the English flag before it became the Union Jack. Again, the St. George's Cross. Again, same electronics, wired the same way. Dummy pots so he doesn't bang it around. So we travel with those four. These guys have 18 or so guitars apiece. I don't need that many. These things are phenomenal. They stay in tune very, very well, and they all sound consistently great.